Good afternoon all. How are we? I'm doing very, very well. <coughs> Excuse me. It is Justin from Basement Ninja Painting. Right. In today's video, we're going to have a look at my Waffen SS that I've just started. But before we do, um, just like to say that my channel, Basic Ninja Painting, is now affiliated with Goblin Gaming. So in the description below, you'll find <coughs> Excuse me. You find a link to the channel and majority of stuff that you find on the goblingaming.co.uk up to twenty percent off. I ordered um, a bunch of stuff the other day. I got some Waffen SS bolt action figures, um, some two lots of Perry miniatures, as you will know from the previous videos, and some cavemen. And all that lot was about 63, something like that. The recommended retail price of about £85. So, excuse me, not bad. So, head on over to goblingaming.co.uk for 20% off. Right, let's crack on. Like I said, in today's video, we will be having a look at my Waffen SS, which I've just started building this morning. And I've completed the first six, and I'll have a look. Right, hello all. Here we have my completed six. Now we're going to have a quick chat about each each one and what I've put on them and what they look like. Okay, so my first, <coughs> excuse me, first one on the left here is the officer, and he's carrying the C96 Mauser, the broom handled Mauser, and you can just see. Just there, you can see he's carrying that. And he's also got a few personal belongings and stuff on his back as well. He's got his arm raised. And he's actually yelling, as you can see with his mouth open. He's meant to come forward or rush forward or whatever. <clears throat> you got the second one. And this one I like with the position he's in, kneeling down. So we're about to get into a firing position, or he's just left the firing position. He's got the KAR um, assault rifle, the KAR 98K. He's cocking it at the moment. You can just see he just fired off a shot, and he's now ready to fire another one. Again, he's got um, personal belongings on his back, the trenching tool with the bayonet. And really like the position he's in. The moulding is superb, and the level of detail is like off the chart. That's number two. Number three. This guy has these carrying the STG forty four assault rifle. And again, he's got three spare clips. Again, I'll put them on. Put the personal belongings on the back. And. Yeah, like this, like this position because he's actually crouching forward, running forward, or sneaking up on and 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 expecting um, U.S., British, or whatever troops. But the level of detail in the face, we just get the camera to focus a little bit. Focus, focus. No, ah, there you go. You can see the level of detail. It's just it is off the chart. Few mold lines I've still got to take off, which I forgot about. But that's number three. Number four. And this pose I like because he's actually running forward, firing his weapon, which is very very difficult to do and land a shot. There's a little bit of um, flash on the top there. You just see on the top of the rifle just there. They've got to take off. But he's got I've got him aiming down sights as well, so. Again, this guy just got the trenching tool and the bayonet. Focus? Maybe not. Okay. And again, some personal items. I like this this pose because he's actually running forward, firing a shot. He's got extra clips or whatever you're called around his belt around the front there as well. So that's number four. Number five. Is this guy is kneeling down studying the map 
he'll be giving off coordinates to the captain or the officer. He's got the MP40 SMG. And again, that's the uh, the map bag pistol. Um, again, a few personal belongings and water canteen and extra bits and pieces in there. So, yeah, nice little pose. He's like actually stopped. Still got his finger on the trigger, as you can see, ready to pop a few bursts. But had him looking down at the map, sort of thing, which will be fun to paint in that. And lastly, but not least, number six. This guy's got the MG42. I think is it, is it the, yeah, the MG42. He's got an extra ammunition um, belt around his neck. He's got um, that little box there, just there. I'm not touching. That's the um, a toolbox for the MG42, which carries parts and stuff to fix it when it breaks. Again, as I've always done with all of them so far, they've got personal belongings on the back and his trenching tool just there, and he's carrying ammunition box. So that's the six so I've built so far from the first sprue. So really enjoyed building these. Is it going to focus? There you go. Um, you do get a lot in the on each sprue, and each sprue gives you the chance to build six. And I'll just show you what I've got left from the first sprue. And this is what you got left from the very first sprue. So, set of arms, another set of arms, weapons, Panzerfaust, which each sprue is exactly the same, okay? Excuse me. You got six different heads, and them heads, excuse me, are the Hanshare heads. Hand scar heads? Hanshar heads? Hanshar or Hanscar? Different heads. And you do get a lot of heads, con considering you've still got one, two there, another six there, and another bunch over here. That's just a helmet. And definitely you've got more arms and pose. That's the question for anyone who's actually completed this set. That there is the actual spare barrel for the MG42. Where would I put that on this guy here? Would I just have it glued to his back? Don't know. On that guy just there. So unsure about that, but yeah, you do get a lot. You've got Panzerfaust just there. You've got um, more trenching tools, more ammunition clips, but, um, set of arms. We're actually firing the Panzerfaust just there, and more ammunition belts there with hands with some binoculars up there. But you do get, I mean, even a hand with a little stick grenade just there. But you do get a lot on each sprue. It gives you a lot of variety to actually build. So that's the first six of the build. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, don't forget to go on to the, follow the link for the Goblin Gaming website. And um, hope you enjoyed it. Like, comment and subscribe, please. And I shall see you in the next one. Bye.